you, you're here, and one of the things I saw that you were talking about is the how we can win the war on cancer right now. Um, first of all, when there's been an emphasis on the war on cancer since the 70s, why aren't we doing any better than we are? Because um, the medical authorities and governmental authorities are looking for magic. They're looking for a magic pill people can take. It's like, imagine if you smoke three packs of cigarettes a day for 30 years, and when it comes to this magic pill that's going to obliviate that risk, and you're going to knock the lung cancer. can never happen. Mm -hmm. They're searching for the impossible. Right now, we know cigarette smoking causes lung cancer. The trick isn't to find a magic pill to enable people to smoke. It's to stop people from smoking, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the same thing is true with breast cancer, prostate cancer, and colon cancer. They're caused by things that people like lifestyle and diet. They're caused by eating a diet of processed foods and junk foods and sweets and fried foods and animal products. And we're not eating enough produce, enough high phytochemical, high fiber, high antioxidant fruits and vegetables. We know from scientific studies these foods protect against cancer. If you eat them, you don't get cancer. And if you eat other foods that cause cancer, you get cancer. We're not going to invent a magic pill that's going to obliviate that. The point is, is that we can win the war on cancer right now. We have the knowledge. Nutritional science has made incredible advances in the last 20 years. If we put it into action, we could wipe out at least 80% of the common cancers. At least 80%, probably more like 90%. And the reason it's 90% and not 98% is because people are eating unhealthy for the first 50 years of their life and then they're going to change. If we got everybody eating healthy right from birth, then we're talking about wiping out probably 95% of cancers because mm -hmm. there's some of the other factors environmentally. And, and our health is dependent by what, how our parents ate as well. We have childhood cancers and childhood autoimmune problems and brain tumors in children based on junk food, fr um, fried foods and um, fast foods and all the unhealthy foods parents eat, people eat before they give birth, which affects the health of their children as well. The point is, is that people have a right to truly informed consent, to know that they don't have to have heart attacks, they don't have to have strokes, they don't have to get demented, and they don't have to get cancer if they eat properly. And nutritional excellence is a tremendous therapeutic tool that's protective and also effective to reverse disease. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is all about.